Number 10. The Italian Job, directed by F. Gary Gray. After a gang of professional thieves, led by career criminal Charlie Croker, successfully robbed $35 million in bars of gold from a safe held by Italian gangsters in Venice, they are betrayed and left for dead by one of their allies. Seeking revenge, the surviving team members create a smart and devious plan to steal back the gold and get their revenge on the traitor. Stella, how much time we need with the Worthington? Five minutes flat. Don't be cocky, young lady. It's not the same as I'm going to say for the police. The perspiration on your fingertips, your heart's pounding in your ears, all the fun ball game. I appreciate your concern, I'll be fine. Number 9. Okay, now where the fuck are you? And where's the money? I'm gonna pick up Lewis, and once I know we're safe, I'll call you, I'll tell you where the money's at. The Lookout is a crime film written and directed by Scott Frank. Combining a thrilling heist movie with themes of film noir and tragic backstory, The Lookout follows a star athlete with the word at his feet. But when a car crash leaves him brain damaged and to rob a bank, a one-way route to hell. I have the power. Chris, just listen to me. No, no, you listen to me. Six o'clock, the mayor's Christmas tree. I have the money, I have the power. I have the power. Six o'clock, and Lewis better not have a mark on him. Number eight. The Bank Job, directed by Roger Donaldson. Scammer and car dealer Terry has always made his twisted way, yet never went for the really big jobs. That changes when beautiful model Martine comes up with a foolproof plan to rob one of the greatest banks of England. Targeting everything from jewelry to bills, they'll soon know that foolproof doesn't exactly hit the point. If we to get the job done before the bank opens on Monday morning, we better get a wriggle on. Wanna do the honors, Martine? This is it. Here we go. Watch your nails, Martin. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's get this show on the road. Number 7. Matchstick Men, directed by Ridley Scott. Perfectly blending elements of trauma and depression with hilarious elements of Ocean's Eleven like scam stories, Matchstick Men sees a burned out con artist suffering from obsessive compulsive disorder and his partner is confronted with his rebellious daughter. When they invite her to perform a massive scam on a businessman, his parenting techniques become source for one hell of a ride. So what, you never heard of a bank? Uh, uh, that is wrong what you did, and uh, you're a nosy parker, and, 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 and that's no way for a young lady to behave, and uh, uh, shame on you! Number six. Rock and Rolla, written and directed by Guy Ritchie. Cult director Richie's return to the roots of classic London gangster action and stylist direction is brought to life even more with a brilliant leading cast. As two major mobsters make their turns to win over the city palm by palm, streetwise hustler 1-2 sees and takes his opportunity to play both sides as a massive deal is about to go down. Number five. Don't touch anything, don't say anything. Back up. Turn off the lights. Turn them off! Before the Devil Knows You're Dead is a crime thriller film directed by Sidney Lumet. Following a truly one-of-a-kind brilliant premise with an execution that seeks its rivals, this thrilling hell ride follows two troubled brothers who seek for quick cash, steal their parents' jewelry store. But when the family patriarch decides to take things in his own hands, he is unaware that the criminals he is seeking are his own sons. Stupid fuck! Number four. I need everybody to take your cell phones and your keys out of your pockets and handbags and hold them in the air. Inside Man is a 2006 heist thriller film directed by Spike Lee. This smartly written bank heist thriller will have you at the edge of your seat with fast-paced acting and brilliant performances. When a perfectionist bank robber and a thick-headed cop go for an ultimate battle, one trying to plan, one trying to stop a dangerous heist. No brick will remain on top of the other. Your headstone will read, Here lies Peter Hammond, hero, who valiantly attempted to prevent a brilliant bank robbery by trying to hide his cellular phone, but wound up getting shot in the fucking head. 
Number 3 Nine Queens, written and directed by Fabian Bylinski. Filled with clever twists, Nine Queens follows two small-town swindlers who team up for a million-dollar deal. But as the misadventure continues, reaches new heights, we must ask ourselves, who isn't a thief? Betrayal and greed lurk behind every corner, and everyone seems to con everyone. Number 2 You think we need one more? All right, we'll get one more. The Oceans Trilogy is a heist film series directed by Steven Soderbergh. There are a ton of heist movies out there, but none are even quite as charming or groundbreaking as this trilogy of the smartest thieves on the planet. Packed with a cast to drop your job, finally being released from jail, instantly plans the greatest and probably most arrogant casino heist in the history of the U.S. Play long enough, you never change the stakes, the house takes you. Unless, when that perfect hand comes along, you bet big, and then you take the house. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Keep it real. Think slow. We should get through it just fine. Hello, Ryder, Donnie. Donnie, hello, Ryder. We're in the elevator. Okay. I'm gonna turn off the surveillance cameras. Ready? In five, four, three, now. Ben Gates, you are now the invisible man. Hold it right there. Are you crazy? What Take are you doing? Take it off and put it down, Nick. Oh, come on. Take it off! and put it down no, right don't, now. Don't do it. Take it off and put it on the fucking floor. Please, don't. Don't fucking don't, argue with me. Take it off and put it down. Number one. What you're doing, with him? The case was attached to his arm. So why didn't you chop it off? Why? We ain't fucking butchers, Boris. Snatch is a 2000 British crime comedy film written and directed by Guy Ritchie. The movie contains two intertwined plots, one dealing with the search for a stolen diamond, and the other with a small-time boxing promoter who finds himself under the thumb of a ruthless gangster. As events twist and turn, the two plots blend into one with a chain reaction of events carrying on for each and every character. Do you